every year during the New York Auto Show, Candida Romanelli has been really, really accommodating to us. Even way back before we were shooting Garage 419 and Fastlane Daily, Candida was always there to help us connect with the auto industry. Anyone out there uh, remember Spike TV's 52 favorite cars? Yeah, that was her. Anyway, as the director of the New York Auto Show, Candida travels the world to meet with manufacturers, exhibitors, planners, organizers, and production companies to put this show together. There's late nights, frantic phone calls, and just a ton of hard work that goes into it. And before anyone puts anything in the Javits Center, it's got to be cleared with her first. No pressure, right? With the New York Auto Show coming up, I wanted to check in with the big boss herself and get some inside info on how she does what she does to make the car buying public so happy. Matt from the New York Motor Club here with Candida Romanelli, hey, Matt. director of the New York International Auto Show. Thank you. Thanks so much for being with us, Candida. It's a pleasure. And we want to really know what kind of work goes into an auto show. Like, I mean, it's a huge show, right? It's yes. gigantic. It's one of the biggest in the world. And you know, how long has it been going on for? Uh, well, this show will be our 108th show. We celebrated really? our 100th year what, anniversary. Were there five cars the first year? <laughs> there were, actually, there were some 30. Really? Yeah, oh, with wow. bicycles. Uh, oh, nice yeah, place. at Madison Square Garden, cool. 1900. So we're the first official auto show in North America. Oh wow! Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, we're and the largest attended in cool. North America too. Yeah. How long have you have you been with the auto show? I've been doing this 18 years. Now, how long does it take to to prepare for this one two week show? Uh, the whole year. The whole year. The whole year. How long does it does it physically take to set the show up? Well, in New York, we're, we are a little bit different than a lot of the other auto shows because mm -hmm. we don't get a lot of time. The Javits Center is booked back-to-back -back yeah. shows, so we really literally get less than a week wow. to set up what we consider a small city. Yeah, I mean, it is. I mean, how many people go through there in those uh, Over a million, over a million, too. We've been wow. consecutive for since I've been doing the show. And how many people are, are working there during that time? Uh, over a thousand people. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, we see, you know, I, I've, I've been there for the setup and there's, you know, lots of trucks unloading. And oh, yeah. Some, how many cars have to get unloaded, you know, into that uh, show? Just shy of a thousand. A thousand cars. Vehicles, yeah. And, and not to mention stages for. built and, and everything. Well, the whole, the whole, you know, it's like a set. Really. Yeah, it's, uh, it's it's, all the exhibits have to be built. We have a number of uh, double deck displays, mm -hmm. so they're really literally buildings. I mean, there's steel and girders, and they would probably outlast us if yeah. they were allowed to stay up. How many new cars can we expect to be uh, unveiled this year? Uh, quite a number of them. Um, we are expecting around 50 debuts. Oh wow! Yeah. Uh, a good number of those debuts are world debuts, which means they've never been shown anywhere in the world. Like? Uh, I can't tell you. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, I'm sworn to secrecy. I swear we won't tell anybody. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we are very strict about embargoing that kind of information. What are some of the more bizarre things that, it, that you've seen happen over the course of the... I remember last year there was the guy, the anti-Toyota guy who oh, climbed yes. the rafters. Yes, remember you that? were there for that. Yeah, that I, was, was I, was, I got an up-close and personal <laughs> view of that one. That was really terrible. We're, we're very, very good at trying to screen these uh, these folks out, the... The problem with that situation was yeah. that it didn't happen on the show floor. Yeah. It happened in the public access area mm -hmm. where anybody can kind of walk in off yeah. the street. Uh, but we were able to get them down pretty quickly. Anything else like that? You, that I mean, maybe not that Oh, bizarre, there have been, you know, demonstrations. We had a woman dress up like a big lemon <laughs> one or two years that well, came in. What and was she advocating? <laughs> the, the new lemon power? Yeah, uh, well, she was just saying that one or two of the uh, car companies, you know, must have sold her a lemon lemons. at some point. <laughs> <laughs> she had bad experience with a Chevy, Yeah, yes, yeah, so she was pretty entertaining. Um, but, uh, well, I mean... it is New York, so <laughs> you, never, New York. you never know. This is true. We yeah. live in a very diverse city. Um, but uh, we have a very rich... 100 yeah. year history of things. Uh, I mean, I wasn't around for this, but it was 1963 mm -hmm. at the BMW booth. Yeah. And um, at that time, it was all about putting on a real show. So they had animals and they had acrobats and they had singers and dancers, and this is what this yeah. is all part of the show. So this particular uh, uh, press conference, uh, I think there was a tiger. A live tiger. <laughs> that, that sounds they, really Yeah, safe. it's, yeah. And it was on a <laughs> leash or something. And there yeah. was a presenter, a model. And uh, she got too close, and the tiger bit her. <laughs> a little Siegfried and Roy <laughs> Just type action. Well, role. yeah, but, uh, and, tiger, and that, that made, you know. At the auto. <laughs> <laughs> that it'll never happen really again. Good idea <laughs> <to me. laughs> 
Yeah, so now there's Let's all kinds of, of rules and regulations. <laughs> pick your manufacturer, pick your car. What would it cost that manufacturer to, to debut a car at the auto show? Oh, it, it's over a million dollars wow. because it's not something that we charge them, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Um, but they, it's all about the press. It's mm -hmm. all about getting the right impression and making a big big production and Mercedes-Benz has done that um, yeah. for a couple well, of I, years. I love their press days. They yeah, have, they, they have, the have one of really, they're one of the yeah. more creative companies. And I like I like that when you go see the, to the Mercedes booth, almost all their cars are AMG. I yes. Lo I love that. They always bring they'll, out the They have a little guns. secret. They'll be doing a little something like that. Oh, I didn't say anything. When you're setting up the show, mm -hmm. you know, how many, how many trucks and trailers, you know, come to unload thing over the course of, you know, we have hours. we have the the most uh, number of trailers. There's over 650. Where do they park them? Uh, that's a problem. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Um, but they actually drive right onto the show floor. Oh really? Yeah. The first thing that happens on the floor is it's marked, so it's all chalked out mm -hmm. as to who's going where. And then uh, our uh, Freeman Decorating Company uh, is the company that we hire that's charged with bringing everything in and out. I so know they them well. you know them well. Yes, I'm sure you. Yes, I'm sure you know them well. <laughs> uh, they're but great. Yeah, they're, they're they, they are. They are very, very helpful. very helpful, and they've been with us for before I was here. And their uh, job is not easy dealing with all those people. No, it isn't. But we do a lot of planning. Uh, but uh, so the floor is marked. The crates are brought in. The trucks actually drive right onto the floor. They drop the uh, the crates. We move everything in from the front to the back, obviously, uh -huh. and then those in the back are the first out when we break down. Um, so the crates are dropped um, and it's quite a scene. It's quite a scene. It's just covered with crates, the whole of Javits, you know, yeah. over almost a million square feet. Well, thanks so much for being with well, us. Well, thank you. I really appreciate you being on the show. And what are the, uh, the dates of the auto show for our Yes, audience? thank you. Uh, well, the website is autoshowny.com. Autoshowny.com. Yes, uh, all the information you want is there. Well, you could buy tickets online, which Great. makes it a lot easier because we get a lot of people yeah. and you'd only have to wait on one very short line to get in. Cool. Uh, and uh, the hours, uh, we start on the 21st, Friday the 21st, and we run through Sunday the 30th of March. Awesome. We are about two weeks earlier this year. Cool. Show hours? Uh, show hours, uh, Monday through Friday and Saturday. We open at 11 a.m. and close at 10.30. Okay. Uh, and then on uh, two Sundays, we open at 10 and close at 7. Awesome. Get there early. There's a lot to see. Candida Romanelli, director <laughs> of the New York International Auto Show. I'm Matt from the New York Motor Club. And if you're at the auto show, you'll be seeing us walking around. So stop in and say hi. Thanks so much, Candida. Appreciate it. My pleasure. It. See you there. Okay. Do you ever sell? No. I never. You can't sell. Things sound like my wife. Uh, I don't. Sell. I'm not saying Get out. <laughs>